VS Code's new built-in JavaScript debugger includes support for both collecting and viewing performance profiles. Let's take a look at this using a simple Express app. So here I have my Express app, and to start debugging, I'm just going to go create a new JavaScript debug terminal down from the terminal view here. And all I have to do now is say npm start, which will both spawn the server and then automatically attach as well. So I'm going to make this a little bit wider. And now if we go over to Safari, we can see that sure enough, my Express server is running. Now if I want to start profiling, all I have to do is here in the call stack view, select the target I'm interested in, and then click on this little profiling icon here. So I'm going to click on that, and we're going to do a manual profile that I'll stop, but you could also profile for a specific amount of time. And now we have this little red indicator up here that is saying that we are profiling. So I'll make a few requests on the server and stop this. So we've collected the profile, and you can see that by default, the default view here that is um, shown for the profile is a bottom-up view. So it is showing all of the functions that have been executed, how long each individual function was taking, and then how long that function in total and all of the functions it called were taking. So we can go and sort things here. We can go and start filtering down just by typing. We can go and explore further, expand into some of these. So you can really interact with this and explore uh, just how long individual functions were taking in your code. Now there's an alternative view, which is the flame graph. And to view that, I'm just going to click on this little flame icon over here. This does require a separate extension, uh, but the, ex uh, the profile will help you install that if you do not already have that enabled. And now in the flame chart view, you can see that I have this nice view that is actually breaking down where my code is taking a long amount of time to actually execute here. So I can see here are all the different functions that are being invoked. And if I start drilling into these, you can see that there's this mysterious make slower function here. And if I hover over that, we can see the file locations. The profile will also use source map. So if you've compiled from TypeScript or um, using Babel or something like that, it would show the original source location instead of the compiled location. And I can see that this make slower function is taking quite a bit of time. So I'm just going to jump to that. And so I'll control click and jump. And we can see that, yep, sure enough, this function is pretty slow. So I can go and fix this problem, just remove a few zeros there. And that should speed things up nicely. So that's a quick look at how you can easily profile your code using VS Code's new JavaScript debugger. It also includes many more advanced features that you can explore.